I'd love to tell you that the controversy over Medicare Advantage is coming to an end. Don't hold your breath. I'll address that and a lot more coming up next. We do not offer every plan available in your area. Currently, we represent approximately 15 organizations, which offer over 100 products nationwide. Please contact Medicare.gov, 1-800-MEDICARE, or your local state health insurance program, SHIP, to get information on all of your options. My name's Jay O. I'm the author of Maximize Your Medicare. You can see it up there in your upper left-hand corner. Available anywhere you can buy a book, online, paperback format. A lot of the decision-making when it comes to Medicare has to do with Medicare Advantage. There's so much noise around it. There are headlines, mostly negative, because of the fact that, well, insurance companies are involved. I represent those companies as a licensed producer in many states throughout the country. I sleep very well when I recommend a Medicare Advantage plan to a specific person in a specific location, given their specific situation. There are multiple chapters in this book that have to do with the comparison of Medicare Advantage versus Medigap. On this channel, there are over 300 videos talking about this, that, and the other, me answering every question from every different type of person whether that be from the press, whether it be from an email, whether that be from the complaint department. You can't get away from a central fact. The care advantage is annual contract. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. I've said it at least a thousand times. I will say it many, many thousands more over the next years. Medicare advantage is annual contract. That means powerful stuff. Number one, Every detail is subject to change every year. So all the great bells and whistles that you get, no deductible, low copay, primary care physician fees limited, specialist office visit limited, all of those things can move every year. That makes it tough for people because they don't like change. Nobody likes change. That's just human nature. It's not the Medicare population alone that doesn't like change. That's just everyone. However, the fact is building a Medicare Advantage plan from the ground up is complicated stuff, real complicated. Let Over the last two weeks, we've seen some nasty, nasty headlines. On one hand, here's the story, which is that just the other day, Humana reported earnings way lower than projected, way lower. Stock dropped by more than 10% in a day. That They are not alone. It's not a Humana-specific issue. How do I know this? United Healthcare, same thing. In other words, the two largest carriers of Medicare plans, which are United Healthcare, Humana, Disclosure, I represent them both in different locations, I feel fine in recommending them in certain locations for a particular situation. That said, not it's not only these two companies, but others as well. You can see it. CVS Health, which owns Aetna, also saying that Medicare Advantage usage is creating profit issues. By no means is this some sob story or pity party for the insurance carriers. It isn't. What it does do, though, it does tell you about part of the pressures involved. You've got annual contract where the sellers, the carriers, get to change the details, every last detail every year. To make things even more complicated, we've got this. So what do you have here? This is a report by something called MedPAC, and this is like a you know, agency which reports to Congress on allegedly a bipartisan, nonpartisan type of, and what are they saying? They're saying that Medicare Advantage also costs the federal government a lot more than original Medicare. Slide reads terribly for Medicare Advantage. It does that coding and selection have driven substantial MA payments above, so meaning that the allowance that the federal government gives to Medicare Advantage costs 
the country more. Not going to resolve that here. We are not. Okay. There's no doubt that people are going to the doctor. You know, Mr. and Miss Hypochondriac, right? I need to go to the doctor. And oh yeah, by the way, my visit to my primary care physician cost me zero because I'm on Medicare Advantage and that's an in-network doctor. That happens. Doctor still gets paid, although at a lower rate, subject for a different video, which is now what are they t going to do? Now, of course, you've driven up the cost. It's supposed to be a biased report. This is not really an unbiased title. And in fact, the, the titling of it had this controversy sitting inside of MedPAC as they created these slides, which is you can see that particular of John, doctor of Johns Hopkins University accused of issuing a negative status report saying it had been hijacked for partisan political aims to justify a rate cut to Medicare Advantage plans. Now, I don't know Dr. Miller, right? I'm pretty sure he's highly qualified. <laughs> in other words, you don't get to be doctor at Johns Hopkins University, one of the top medical schools in the country, right? Easily. Okay. And what I'm saying is this appears to be slanted to arrive at a foreign in order to set up and provide political cover just before CMS and provide his annual Nate Rose for, M for Medicare Advantage plan expected in coming weeks. The chapter reads like attack journalism as opposed to balanced and thoughtful policy research. And now you can see the issue. Is I started this video by saying, you know, if you're looking for a quick, easy resolution, you're not going to find it. You're not. Can you tweak the payment system to Medicare Advantage so that we could actually get a more clear view about exactly how much Medicare Advantage costs compared to Medic? Yes, we could. That's for another day. Over here, though, you can see what has ended up happening is that, yeah, there's controversy here. We've got the A doctors taking pay cuts here. You're a doctor. You're getting a 3.7% pay cut this year, 2024. And guess what? I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not optimistic going into 2025. In other words, all of these stresses on the system as a whole are pinching everyone. The question is, does this matter? Does this matter at all? And the answer for me is maybe. And that may seem too blurry for you. But what I'm saying is, if I'm an old woman, I live in a shoe, I've got 75 children, I don't know what to do. I live on Social Security, check to check alone. And, oh yeah, by the way, I'm bulletproof. I never get sick. Guess what? Medicare Advantage, as a financial choice, financial option, a financial selection that you're making, is going to be worth it. Why? The premium is zero. The co-pays are limited. There's an out-of-pocket maximum. Period. That's it. There are extra benefits. Yes. Embedded dental and vision in almost every plan that I've ever seen. In addition to that, perhaps OTC per diem for health-related benefits. Those are all true. And it, like I said, if you're that old woman who lives in the shoe, with that financial matter and excellent health, over time, does this save money? Yes, there are studies to tell you this. You switch one variable. The old woman lives in a shoe, Miss Perfect, 100 children doesn't know what to do, but lives in, an, but becomes sick in a location where the networks are terribly fragmented. Guess what? The entirety changes. So these, these facts, all of these facts, can all simultaneously be true. They can all simultaneously be true. And you can see minority groups here, right? Choose Medicare Advantage plans, right? 57% of enrollees are female. And you can see it. As people get older, they, they switch to Medicare, to Medicare Advantage. Why? Because as time passes, right? You're now 85 the reality is is Medigap will cost you $500 a month, right? If you're in South Beach, 
versus Medicare Advantage at zero, $6,000 a year, and the out-of-pocket maximum will be lower than $6,000. So now you can see it. The simple math tells you it's completely rational to choose Medicare Advantage in my example. So the idea that we are going to say, okay, well, it's wasteful and doesn't make sense and cost the country money. A, that's still blurry. And B, to the consumer, it may simply not matter. And it may simply not change my guidance, my suggestion to that individual. I didn't say it was going to be easy. People have written 200-page books with 200 footnotes in it. <laughs> so... That's the book. That, that's my financial advice for today. All right, everyone, be sure to like, subscribe. Hopefully you've liked today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe. Check out the newsletter on www.maximizeyourmedicare.com. Thanks.